Dan Geltrude back with us. And Dan, in case you don't know, uh, besides being a very good investor and investment advice, he's an accountant by training. Um, so he knows the role of numerical bodies are very, it can be very helpful to have them. The trouble is, Dan, um, there aren't too many guys like you today. We're running out of them. And, I, and that's causing a whole series of problems, people looking for accountant help, you know, to get their taxes and all. What, what's going on? Yeah, it's really a big problem, Neil. And this problem has existed for some time, but, but recently, uh, Lindsay Ellis from the Wall Street Journal has been writing about this, yeah. and it's now getting a lot of attention. To start with, in the last two years, you've had 300,000 accountants and auditors leave the profession. Why? Working too much, Neil. Now, why are they working too much? Because there's a lot of regulations changing, a lot of responsibilities, deadlines, all those things. And the pipeline of people going into accounting is really, really thin. So now you have a double whammy. You have people leaving, and you don't have enough people coming in. So what happens? But the pay is great. You guys are very sought after. So what, 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 what triggered this down growth? Well, it really started during the pandemic for some reason, is really when there became a, a real shortage. And I think what happened was we had a lot more reporting responsibilities with all the government-related uh, uh, programs that were going on that required filing right. on top of our regular work. Well, if you can't find enough people, Neil, what happens? Those people have to work more hours, and they get burnt out. And you guys are on the hook for what you stamp your approval on right yes we are and, and, and then those rules are constantly changing getting up to you have to be up on all of that right? yeah there's a lot more to it than just doing the work right there's a lot of uh, education behind what we do neil now keep in mind the accounting profession is driven by two things quality and timeliness so here's why this is a big threat what i would say and i'm not exaggerating the financial system so now all these public companies have SEC filings, right, in which investors are relying on that information. If there's not enough accountants to be able to deliver quality and timeliness, once that credibility of those numbers starts to become questioned, Neil, now you have, a, in what I would say, a time bomb that goes off to say, can we rely on this anymore? Can we? Can we rely on the, the, the group of accountants we do have right now? If it's shrinking, I mean, who are we left with? Well, here's what's happening. Firms that simply cannot find enough accountants in the U.S., particularly the larger firms that are doing right. this public work, you know what they're doing, Neil? They're, they're using the international solution, primarily India, but all around the world where they have the work being done there, Right. to help and also keep in mind they're on a 12-hour difference so now these accounting firms become a 24-hour operation because while we're sleeping here they're working around but a lot the of doing the software route and said I, I can do software do it I don't need the account but that is true yeah. technology is getting better so you can rely on that but when you talk about planning and strategy, right. the real value of what accountants do, Neil, that's the human factor, and that's got to be there. And that's where the real squeeze is. Yeah, no, it makes sense. Well, we need guys like you, Dan. You know? I agree, Neil. Yes. In, in more ways than one. Yes, absolutely. <laughs> and, you know, accountants are very serious, folks. Not, not, you know, it's a great reputation to have. You've got a great sense of humor and all that stuff, so maybe, maybe we need to just jazz has them all up. Well, if, you, if you're indicating that perhaps I should be the poster boy for the profession and that would draw I, more, pe more people in, I think you're on to something. I, I think so, too. I think you're on to something, right? <laughs> but uh, Dan Gelder, he knows him when he speaks. And it's a real problem right now. I have a lot of very good dear friends who are accountants, and uh, you know, some of them don't have his you know, stand-up delivery quality, but you know, they, they, they are very much in demand. Uh, so they can kind of call their own shots here, but without them, boy, it'd be a very, very different world. Uh, just imagine doing all this on your own. Just think of that after this.